Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. In here we'll be looking at regional selectivity as this is related to Theodore reaction. Theodore reaction we know involves two species, one dying and the other dienophiles. And quite interestingly, we know that the advantage of dying is that most times dyings are actually exhibiting the homostate. However, we know that dienophiles are mostly related to the lumostates as you're looking at the orbital overlaps and also the molecular orbitals relating to both species and how the molecular orbitals are pretty much involved in the formation of bonds due to one actually donating electrons and the other actually lacking electrons. In the ordinary state, when we're looking at our diene, what we know for our diene is that we have pretty much four electron systems and pretty much all of them having nice orbital overlaps over there and in as orbital overlaps generate our homostate where two of them with the same coefficient have our homo and then both of both of the, the lobes will be in phase with respect to each other however the other two lobes will be in phase with respect to each other however there will be a node over here on the other case where you're looking at a dinophile our dinophile just involves just two electron system over here and if you're looking at our LUMO case we're just going to look at these two lobes out of phase with respect to each other with a node at the center however if you're looking at region selectivity and you're looking at our dying which involves the donation of electrons to the pi system we can include an electron donating group our electron donating group to be represented as x in such a way that will connect our x into this particular bi system and what we have over here we will just make this to be a pi system over there and that will result in a change in the coefficient of our lobes over here in such a way that one of them will actually have electrons reach in that particular risk system which is our terminal region so as a result of that will make this to be bigger because the terminal system actually gets electron pushing arrows moving towards itself over there so what we got over here is an enrichment over in this region over here despite the fact that our other nodes were kind of small and our lobes will actually be in phase over here however this here will be out of phase with respect to that and this will be in phase with respect to that over there. So that's about it for the dying over there by the inclusion of our X component over here, which is our electron donating group. Or we can have another positioning of our dying over here where our X, which is donating group, can be in this particular region over here. And by inductive effect, we can actually make this particular lobe to be. A bigger one in such a way that what we got over here is another one over here the bigger node over here attached to our X over here we have our little node over lobe over here in phase with respect to that and out of phase with respect to that but in phase with respect to that over there so if you're having an electron pushing arrow, which actually shows that the electron is moving to this particular region by inductive effect, what we get over here is the moment of arrow moving here and over to this particular region, making this particular lobe to be the bigger one. Now, on the other side, looking at our dienophile, our dienophile will have the opposite case where we are including electron withdrawing group and our electron withdrawing group, which is actually our Z component where Z or represented as our Z we have this particular system where our electron deficient part will be at this particular region because what is happening here is that since our LUMO is actually lacking electrons then the point where electrons will be lacking the most is the terminal region over here this our node here bigger our lobe here bigger than the other one and then we have out of phase with respect to that over there and on the other side 
where our is still the same thing i'm just going to redraw this over here because that is the only one condition i have for the positioning of our z over there now if you're looking at our orbital overlap what we get is if you're looking at this from the top view bigger node over here however this is our bigger node shaded over there our x and on the other side we have our z position over there bigger node over here smaller one over there and what we get is that this is going to be shaded and this will be shaded over there and now what we got over here smaller regions over there if you remember that if this is shaded this would be if this is not shaded this would be shaded therefore if this is shaded this would be not shaded over there at the top so at the bottom will be there so as a result of that we got our nice movement of electrons going this way going that way and going this way and on the other side over here if you're looking at this particular region over here we have our x pointing upwards over here and then donating electrons such a way that this would be shaded over here at the bottom but we have a bigger one over here which is actually shaded at the top over here however on the other side we have which is the same thing as what we got in the previous sample over there we got our bigger node over here and our bigger lobe will have shaded which is actually at the bottom over here and over at this region over there it will be non-shaded over there so what we got now is a nice upper overlap where this moves over there that moves over there and this moves over there that is the circular addition process and what we get we get two species in this particular case we get our ortho and the other we get our power and uh, what we got as a result of that is in this particular region we have our x pointing in the auto directing with respect to our z and on the other side we have our power positioning of our x with respect to our z and uh, various examples of our x includes the following our x can be either an IQ group or an Aryan group or we can have a RO or I might say ROH group over here or we can have a RO group over there or we can have a M E3 silicon oxide over here or we can have a amine group over there now on the other side if you're looking at our Dino files which requires electron redrawing group, then we look for those that are highly electron redrawing, like for example, our aldehyde high functional group, a ketone functional group, or we can have a carboxylic acid functional group over here, or we can have our ester functioning group over here, or we can have a dino or I might call it nitro group over there, or we can have and a fill group over there or we can include various halogens in our region to push electrons towards it or our key line group or our lastly aerial group over there so those are the key things that you need to know in terms of the region selectivity involved in circular addition reactions all the same guys thanks for watching and following me through this particular topic i hope you're able to understand this if you like it Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and share with everyone around here. Have a good day. Peace. Love you all. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.